Good evening. First, I want to say thank you to the selection committee and all my friends and family that are here tonight. I've seen Dr. Herbert, who I haven't seen in a long time, and he was a mentor to me when I was a student here at UNF, and I remember talking with him when I was thinking about what I was going to do after graduating from UNF. And I ended up going to law school, and he helped me with my first legal job, and that was working in the general counsel's office. So I'm so glad that he's here tonight, and I'm, I'm proud of all the things that he accomplished while he was here and all the guidance that he gave me. I'm also very fortunate that I had a great family that supported me when I was very young through my college career. They taught me the importance of setting goals and working hard to obtain them. I'm also thankful and fortunate for all the great coaches that I had throughout my career. There's a lot of people that I want to thank but don't have time to do it tonight. I want to focus on a few of those people. First, I want to thank Bucky Dent. Larry Hoskin and the guys at the Bucky Dent Baseball School, they taught me how to play the infield when I was young. They taught me to play baseball at a very high level. I next want to thank my high school baseball coach, uh, who's not here tonight, but uh, George Pettit was instrumental in uh, me getting to UNF. He taught me to practice with a purpose. He taught me to have a plan when I stepped in the batter's box. And he taught me never to let up. And most importantly, I remember when I was a senior, before my senior year of baseball in high school, he came up to me and he said, you need to go to UNF, you need to play for Dusty Rhodes. I didn't know UNF, I didn't know Dusty Rhodes, but I knew my baseball coach. And for me, that was the smartest decision I've ever made as far as baseball goes. Next, I want to thank Dusty. For those of you who know Dusty, there's a lot of stories that we can tell tonight about the things that we went through and all the great accomplishments that we had while we played. But the most important thing that sticks out for me playing for Dusty is teaching mental toughness. For those of you who've played here for Dusty and, and graduated here, you know that you got to be tough to play for that guy. you got to be tough to get through Hell Week. All the baseball players in the room know what that is. It's a lot of running early in the morning when it's really, really cold. And then you got to run a six-minute mile later in the week when you're really not feeling up to it. You also have to be tough to endure the long practices and all the hard work that goes into being a successful baseball player at UNF. You also have to know that the next day you got to get up and you got to get it done in the classroom. And that's not easy at UNF. For those of you who've gone to school here, you know it's got a high academic standard, so Practicing four hours, lifting weights in the morning, and getting up and going to class just with everybody else is, is very difficult. So I want to thank Dusty for teaching me how to be mentally tough, and that's something that carries over into everything that I do. And I'm sure the baseball players in the room know it's helpful for them in their careers. As an aside, something that really has nothing to do with baseball, but a, a quick Dusty story. When I came up here from South Florida, I couldn't stand country music. <laughs> we didn't listen to it in South Florida. It wasn't, it wasn't on my radio station. But after three, after four hour practices, hearing the same song three or four times during that practice, you start to like it. And so Dusty, thank you for that. I'm now a big fan. Last but not least, I want to thank my parents. Jim and Ann, they're here tonight with my in-laws. And like every baseball game, every home baseball game here in Jacksonville, they're from South Florida, they still live in South Florida. They came to just about every game. And uh, that's no small task, it's a four or five hour drive. My dad was here every Friday night for our home series and made it to most of my away games. My dad was my t-ball coach all the way through Little League. My mom, who's a teacher, uh, taught me how to be the student I was at UNF and to succeed in law school. And they're just so supportive of everything I did, and I want to thank them. Uh, I wouldn't be the baseball player, I wouldn't be the student, and I wouldn't be the person that I am today if it wasn't for them. Mom and Dad, I love you. Thank you. Finally, a note about UNF. Since I graduated in 95, 
and after I went to law school, I wanted to get back involved in UNF. To me, it's a special place. There are people here tonight that I've been on committees and boards. Faith Hall from the Alumni Association is here. I just think the world of this university and the great people that are associated with it. The athletic department, Lee Moon and Joey and Josh, they're doing a great job. And I would encourage you, if you're not involved in some capacity, that you get involved. Because we have a great thing going here, but we need to keep it going, and we need your help doing it. So I hope you will consider getting involved in UNF, UNF Athletics. And last but not least, go Ospreys. Thank you. Woo!